Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One US YouTube channel where today we're getting our first look at the brand new Acura NSX Type S. Uh, it's a really quick and dirty casual walk around today. It's just me and a camera here in Monterey Car Week. But I really want to show you this car because so we're going to be one of the first to do so. And Acura did a lot to make this thing special. It's going to be the final model year of the NSX and I'm going to tell you all about it. So let's take our first look. NSX Type S, final model year for this supercar that we've come to know and love over the last few years. And it's different. They made some tweaks to make this thing special, to make it stand out. Um, and we're gonna talk you through all of that. I'm gonna talk about the powertrain changes, what they've done to get a little bit more power out of it, uh, the design tweaks as well, because there's some special things going on there. With NSX Type S, they're gonna do 350 of them. 350 for the final model year and they're gonna start production, they said, this December. 350 for the world and 300 of those are gonna be designated for the US market. Let's walk around. I actually wanna go over to the gray one because they gave me the keys to that so I can show you the interior of it as well. Um, we'll start from the front of the car and work our way back with what's different because I'm sure you've seen it in pictures by now. The biggest difference is in the face. And from this angle, is where you're gonna note uh, that this looks pretty much like a completely different car than before. Well, that might be an exaggeration, <laughs> but if you see it head on, you'll know it's different. Uh, before the NSX had the beak and it was kind of all black and plastic and they've swapped that out for something that looks a lot more angular, a lot more aggressive, and the nose of the car looks lower and it looks wider because of it. They say some of that's functional. They did redo the front splitter and they say it's better for aero as well. Uh, fun fact, they also took the badge, which used to be on the hood and they moved it down below. And this black Acura badge, believe it or not, is the first time they've ever offered a black badge look on any of the Acura products, which is kind of hard to believe considering just how many cars on sale today offer some sort of black optics package, something like that. Anyway, the NSX Type S rocks uh, some black exterior accents. Moving on to the side profile, see the door handle popping up because I have the key. That is the biggest indicator that this car is any different than before, at least from a badging perspective. But there's no badge on the back, there's nothing on the front, it's just this look right here on the side. There are some functional changes though. Uh, these tires, for example, these are new and the wheels are new as well. They're five spoke wheels that are exclusive to Type S. Um, the car used to come with Continentals and now you can see it has Pirellis and this little guy right here, this HO designation, means that these tires were specifically made for NSX Type S and they're all gonna come with them, which is pretty cool. Let's walk around to the back for just a second here some good sunlight to help it stand out now. The biggest difference is underneath. So this diffuser is quite different, honestly. This one is finished in carbon fiber. I believe all of them are going to come like that, but I'm not entirely certain. There's an optional lightweight package which tweaks a few carbon fiber bits, but I believe all of them come like this. Let's look at the engine, because it's always fun to peer into the back at an NSX engine. The Type S's are gonna have that red piece in the middle. Kinda looks like a red beating heart almost, it's neat. Uh, and then they all get a special Type S plaque. The NSX had this before, but as you can see, it's different. This one's a prototype, so it's wearing triple zeros, but of course it's gonna be out of 350. The carbon fiber engine cover, I do know that that's an option. Uh, Type S is gonna start at $169,000, and then for 182 grand, there's going to be a lightweight pack, which is going to add carbon fiber engine cover, some interior carbon fiber trim, and then these nice ceramic brakes, uh, which are also gonna be an option. Let's get inside of it and open it up. So you've seen in the pictures probably by now, most of them were pointed that way because they didn't change too much with the dash. I'm sure there are a couple people out there that really would have wanted you know, new technology or something radically different on the interior of this car. But this being the final model year, I just don't think that was in the cards 
Uh, they did some things. You have Type S now on the passenger side, which is stitched in. And then they tell me that this red stitching is new. And now there's NSX embroidered into the headrest as well. Is it radically different? No, not at all. It's actually pretty much the same. But you know what? That's okay. I don't think the interior had to be all that different um, with this version of this vehicle. The color. I don't think I mentioned the color yet. This is called Gotham Gray. Um, they're only doing 70 of these in this color for the entire product run. So 70 out of the 350 are going to be this color. Uh, I was just speaking with you know some of the Acura design folks and they were saying when they had this in the studio and they finally saw this mock-up, you can see why they came up with that color name. It's obviously very Batman-esque. Uh, by the time you get it, you know, with the black wheels on it and the black badging and everything, it looks super sinister. I guess I can show you the red one too while I'm up here and nobody's kicking me off. This also has the carbon fiber splitter on the back, so I'm guessing that's going to come on all of them. The red, you can definitely see the face stand out a bit more. I'll say that. This looks kind of more exotic with the red paint. As cool as that gray is and as sort of stealth as it looks, I'm liking this. This, this is the best look for this car. Well, there you go. Um, like I said, <laughs> quick and dirty, because we only have a few minutes with it before this place gets crazy and there's a million people on this stage. But this was our very quick first look at the 2022 Acura NSX Type S. Uh, follow along with us. We're going to have more video content from Monterey Car Week this week. You can follow that at MotorOne.com and there's going to be links in the description to everything you need to know, including our social media pages and everything like that. Thanks for watching.